hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Lauren. in today's video we will be looking at my budget for the month of august and for those who are a monthly um cash stuffer or monthly budgeter i am gonna show you how to build a budget basically however i did go i did do my bills off camera but the only thing you guys will be seeing me um budget for is what i have left after paying off all my bills so let's just get right into it the quote or the mantra for this month based on my planner um quote it says out of the mountain of despair a stone of hope and this was said by martin luther king jr okay so this is what my august um at a glance look like my monthly at a glance i used to just write i use for um tracking any upcoming events so when i do my cash stuffing i will know what matters for example i have two birthdays coming up so my paycheck also for september falls on august 22nd so i just like have all the important details in my month at a glance i know we others use the month at a glance to um record their bills but i don't do that given the nature of my budget meaning i'm a monthly budgeter so my bills are just the money allotted for my bills just stay in my account i do not interfere with that i do not cash stuff so there's no need for me to write down um my bills and split my paycheck because i don't split paychecks i just leave my bills money in my account and withdraw whatever needs to be what's left after paying off my bills so this is what my monthly fixed bills um and looks like i am very high in my bills this month i did some a one-time purchase which came to 278 this actually hindered my um budget for the month also my but i see this as an investment so that's why i did that um also my school payment is also the reason why my budget is very tight in terms of cash stuffing for sinking funds so my school payment this month is also 345 that's because there was a consolidation fee because i'm going to the next semester i'm currently at school so that is why it is so high next month hopefully it goes down to a hundred i think it will because i had to pay the consolidation fee of um 135 and the monthly amount was like two something so that brought it up to 345 um the susu is also what is hindering my fixed bills my bills are not usually this high it usually one it's usually in the 1500 but because of these three expenses in my bills i'm gonna highlight them so you guys can see what i'm talking about this is just a one-time thing that won't happen next month but for the remaining year it's my school my susu yeah these are the three bills that you know really hinder my budget but my susu ends in december so susu is like like a friendly savings um game every month a group of us six of us come together we put 200 dollars, and whichever month we dip and we got we get 1200 twice for the year so i supposed to be collecting the last 1200 in december which is also the last month for this payment so that money when i collect it's going towards my visa sinking fund so i cannot wait for december to come so i don't have to pay this again next year i won't be joining this next year that is just that was just too much um it's too much so i prefer to just cash stuff my sinking funds and my school payment next month will definitely go down um to a hundred a hundred and thirty or hundred and fifty so after doing that we have a total of 105 left 
and I had an extra twenty dollars from I think rolled over but then I decided to just add it to this paycheck given that I don't have a lot to work with so we're gonna be cash stuffing a hundred well we're gonna be cash stuffing eight hundred and twenty five dollars let me just take out the the sheets And before I continue, I hope you guys are seeing this. So we did the bills. Um, so I said that I wanted to go up for the month of August to $200 weekly. But actually, uh, I actually put weekly crazy. So it's supposed to be week one. I am actually budgeting... One fifty, which is actually less than last month, which was one seventy, um, because of the one-time purchase that I made. Uh, yeah, I had to sacrifice something. I'm going to put the periods. So week one will cover from the first. Of August to the 10th the second week is from the 11th of August to the 17th the 18th of August to the 24th and the 25th To the 36th so that's week four and each week i am budgeting 150. so 150 150 300 150 153 so that's 600 we do not need a calculator for this so now I need the calculator, so I'm gonna put it up. So we have 825 minus 600. We have 225 left. Um. yeah guys it's not a lot but we're gonna see regardless so um today's a 26 i think today's a 20 I, I have no idea um but i am going to um always make sure that i um put a hundred dollars in my 10 key challenge even if it's not a lot um yeah. we have so my 10k challenge is like my mon my main savings and investment this 10k challenge will be going towards my first vehicle so i think that's what i'm gonna put it towards i don't know i may change my mind i'm not sure um so we have left a hundred and twenty five dollars for the month the entire month to go into sinking funds now that may that may not be a lot and it's not a lot but the main fact is my bills are paid i am saving something my um variable expenses my day-to-day -day expenses are covered so whatever is left is what we're gonna work with um i supposed to be i am supposed to be getting a check for my health claims hopefully i get it during the month of august so the the um sinking funds that i did not get to cash stuff i am going to cash stuff them 
So let's just start with the so we have 125 so let's just start with my high priority binder let me see if you guys are in frame perfect so emergency fund i do have a tracker for my emergency fund but i took it out from the envelope because the tracker was turning my envelope and i placed it in this plastic envelope thingy that i got a long time ago from christina loves planning um so it's in there and as you could see i went ahead and color in what i will be budgeting for my emergency fund which is ten dollars so we're gonna subtract ten so my emergency fund this month is getting ten dollars personal savings every month fifty dollars is going towards my personal savings as you can see i've already updated it this month which is 250 so we actually have a total of $1,285 in personal savings. So this time I'm going to add five. So I'm gonna add five and we have 110 left. Cash buffer, I did the one. So I am going to, for the $1, I'm just adding five. So we have 105 left um guys so my cash buffer goal amount is 450 this is to um to accommodate my overspending throughout any given month and then when my next paycheck come whatever i took out i will be replenishing to bring it back up to 450 um so that's what my cash buffer is for i won't be cash stuffing my month ahead until i am done with my cash buffer because we cannot i cannot be doing like everything at once my main priority right now is to get my cash buffer up to 450 or 300 i think i'll go down to 300 um instead of 450 so 300 dollars will be my ultimate goal for my cash buffer and once i get to that goal i am going to focus on my month ahead Based on my month ahead tracker, my month ahead on all bills, well, my month ahead on my um, salary is 3000 It's not actually 3000 but I added an extra 500 just in case um, for any added subscription or fixed bill if that happens later during the, the year. So that is my month my month ahead goal three thousand dollars so once i am done with my cash buffer of 300 i am going to start stuffing my month ahead so we're gonna skip month ahead my vacation this is supposed to say travel i'm trying to save up for my traveling expenses so when i go get my visa next year um so i really need to start working on this crazy bad next next year god spare my life but we do not have a lot to work with so i'm skipping that my susu collection at the ending in december of 1200 will be going towards my visa envelope so that is accounted for in a sense um i'm gonna speak more on the visa requirements and like once I get closer to the date, I'm gonna talk more about that. But for now, I am just keeping traveling and Vicky. First vehicle. I am also skipping. 
um for now if i get any extra cash throughout the month of august i will be definitely putting it into the sinking funds that i didn't get to cash stuff this time with my monthly paycheck so by that is being skipped by that has 12 dollars doctor visit is being skipped it has 60 dental and luxury is also being skipped um i have a few feelings to do i just do not know when i'm gonna get the chance to get this stuffed so that is it for my high priority binder it's not much but it is something um my next binder is my low priority binder and uh, not much will be stuff in there so fan adventure is down to zero it had 80 dollars and i did use this money so fun adventure in the event that i my friends plan on going out or in the cinema i want to have something 25 gift giving is getting 30 there's a lot of um birthdays coming up so gift giving had 80 dollars it was my nephew birthday and i still have to take out cash from this because i bought him a cake and something for his tablet um but i took out the money for the cake already it was like 35 dollars but i'm also i need to take out i think 30 dollars out of this or if not more so that's why it's getting 30 and in august i have two birthdays to cater for so i don't know i don't know how we're gonna do it so we have 50 dollars left um self-care is getting skipped it has 25 hairs getting skipped art is getting skipped oops is just dying there with five with two dollars um nails has five i need to get i actually ordered trackers more trackers so the envelopes that don't have trackers they will soon have trackers um wardrobe is getting 10 because i had 80 dollars in wardrobe and i bought two working shoes they had a sale pillars they had a sale so i bought two working shoes for 103 actually so i need to start start stuff in this all over again so i could get some summer clothes um or buy some clothes on black friday when black friday arrives there's a lot that i need to do for wardrobe in terms of wardrobe i need to revamp my wardrobe so wardrobe is getting ten dollars and i think that is it health wealth medication vitamin envelopes it's not getting nothing again and onto my family binder so i mom i don't think i will be cash stuffing any of these envelopes except for family emergency so there was an envelope that i took out from there it was my boyfriend's envelope i'm no longer i won't be st stuffing for that so the ten dollars i was in there i placed it in girl strip my girl strip envelope is for big events that i plan on going on like um concerts um boat rides whatever whatever big events 
and I'm usually around women so that's why I name it girl strips instead of events so like jazz festival strip is not getting anything family groceries I mean family groceries <laughs> family emergencies so i'm using this scratch off challenge to stuff for my family emergencies and i went ahead and scratch off off camera and i got 30 now because of what i'm working with um i'm gonna put half of this money which is 15 so family emergencies is getting 15 and when i hit 30 i'm just going to the next time i cash stuff it will be 15 again to make it 30 so i'll deposit the 30 once i get it in the actual envelope so that is it for my family binder then the last binder we have is this binder and we have 25 dollars left so I am going to put $20 in Christmas and $5 in Black Friday because like I said, I do want to get some things for work on Black in for next year. I need to get new working clothes, um, bras and whatnot, um, outing clothes, that sort of thing. I want to use this Black Friday and this Christmas envelope for myself. The Christmas challenge that I'm doing is for my mom. So whatever the $500 is going towards my mom. And this is for me. And my, like, if I want to give somebody a gift or something. But mainly for me, for Black Friday, these two envelopes. And yeah, I really need to, I really need to, um, stuff this. So Christmas which is Xmas for short, is getting 20 and Black Friday is getting 5 so this is the last of it and that is it for budgeting for the entire month of August yes, it's not much going into my sinking funds um, but that's what it is and thank you guys for watching see you in my next one which will be my cash stuffing video for the month of august bye